Ambassador at risk. You gotta send us. You're not the first responders. You will wait. Okay. Hey guys, Michelle Madison here with Miami Now TV, and I'm taking you inside Michael Bay's newest movie. 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. It's based on a true story. Coming up, I'll have a cast interview. How has this changed your perception of the humanology of going out and you know making sacrifices? Well, that's the movie. What the, the soul of the movie is about the selflessness of uh, these first responders, these these ex-military guys that that were not required to go to go save uh, these Americans, and uh, they risked their lives. They engaged over over 100 attackers, and it was a group of like six guys. And uh, I mean, you gotta have something special in your soul when you say we're gonna we're not gonna let we're not gonna let these people go, and we're gonna go into harm's way in such an extensive. You know, they fought over a hundred guys, so it's the odds were way against them. What do you want people to take away from this movie? Well, at the heart of it, it besides being selfless, selflessness, uh, it, there's an inspirational. It's tragic, but there's an inspirational part to this movie. This has been a different role for you. Is, you had to get bulk up. Tell us about it. Well, it is definitely a different role, but it's something I've always wanted to do. Um, I come from a big military family, so I have a lot of aunts, uncles, and cousins that have served and are serving currently. And so I've always wanted to do a movie like this for them and for me. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a different role than people have seen me in, but something that I was hoping to get the shot at, and I really appreciate Michael giving me that chance. Now, as a father and playing someone who was a young father at the time, how has this impacted your view on just what these guys do and being a father? It's impacted in every single way. I think I really... You know, like I said, I come from a military family, so I've always supported the troops, but I think I have a whole new understanding for it. You know, these guys aren't um, superheroes. They're not guys who live in caves and go out and fight the battles for us. They're guys who have families and kids, and they give up so much to be on the front lines for us, and, and that's something that we'll never be able to thank them for. And we saw you got emotional. Why do you think that was important for someone, as your character, to do that on screen? Well, I mean, it's to me, first of all, it's true. It's what happened. That actual phone call really happened. And most importantly, I think it really brings the human side of what these guys are, you know. Like I said, the most important thing, one of the most important things about the movie is to show that these guys aren't superheroes. They're just like you and I, and they've decided to do this. They've dedicated their lives to this. And when danger, you know, comes into play, they choose to go right into it for us. And it's really important. That's what makes them extraordinary. You got your character, I should say, kind of gave us a little sigh of relief there, here and there. I mean, how important was it to have that? I think the guys uh, on the battlefield use it in the same way that Michael uses it as a filmmaker. You know, um, humor gets used uh, when these guys go through incredibly tense, uh, difficult situations, when, when stuff gets crazy. Uh, Tonto, I know, I definitely observed, uses humor to, to diffuse the tension, to, uh, to keep everybody around him loose and happy, uh, including himself, and to keep everybody engaged in what they're doing. And in the same way, I think Michael uses that device uh, as a filmmaker because the movie is really hard to watch. It's hard to sit through. I, I found myself in the screening, you know, I, I, I didn't unball my fists until like 20 minutes after the screening, you know. It's, it's very high, ten, uh, high tension. And so to, every once in a while to be able to diffuse that tension and to be able to laugh and to be able to uh, have some levity, I think, is very important. You. Now, now, you had a little bit of more of a challenge than the other guys, I think, in getting your character together. Tell me about that process. It, 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 uh, yeah, it was a challenging process, and, but I enjoy challenging processes. And, and the idea is that, you know, Tyrone Woods is not here with us anymore, so I, I was able to meet with a lot of guys he served with, and a lot of guys he served with on the SEAL teams. And, um, you know, we had, obviously, we had the real guys uh, who were there with him that night. They were with us, but we had a, a lot of former U.S. Navy SEALs, and so that was, that was my way into him. And, and then since the film has been over, I've been in contact with uh, his mother and, and the family members, and so it's, uh, um, it's a high-pressure job, but, you know, that's, that's why we do these things. How has this impacted your, I guess, your um, viewpoint of what these guys do? You know, every film you do takes a little piece out of you, and every film you do puts a little piece back in in its place. So 
it, it's a positive experience to watch these guys and you watch them and you tell stories and then you change as a human being also and in the gift of film is that we we get to travel and we had a very international crew I worked with a lot of actors from Libya and Morocco and what you find is on your downtime when you sit down and you talk is that we got a lot more in common in this world than we think we do so what I would say to people is listen a little more all right, guys, we hope you enjoyed those interviews. 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi Hits Theaters, January 15th. For Miami Now TV, I'm Michelle Madison.